<sighs> Time to do Camp MoGraph again. Let's go see some friends. One of my responsibilities at camp has now become making videos and stuff like that. So I'm also vlogging because it's fun and I enjoy it. And I like sharing the things on the internet. But our goal is gonna be filming four videos, one for each day. So doing a tour day, doing a workshop day, doing an activity, doing an activities day, and doing a fireside chat day. But first, I think it's time to go get some lunch and share some sourdough with friends because I made sourdough for all the friends here because that's also a labor of love. Very moist sourdough bread for having been in a plane and been like moved around multiple locations. <laughs> Sorry. Does it pass the clean test? That's great. Amazing. A great texture. It's not dry. Still feels fresh and moist. Rate your bread? Oh, um, easily five out of five jags. Thank you. Yeah. Rate my bread. So good, so good. Five out of five. Thank you. So I moist. Need, I, need I love it. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks bread. So I made a boo-boo. And I didn't put down the camera at all for camp. It was because I do, I do like making videos. But I did have some fun. This one was hosted in Elbert, Colorado. So we flew out, bunch of friends all meeting. I get the opportunity to shoot this event and I like making these little YouTube videos because it's a personal diary for me to remember all the things that I've done. At this camp, I took three workshops or tried three things. The first was Sam's producing course and learning about rates and production. So there is a little bit of work involved there, but it was interesting to hear from the studio producer perspective, what are artist rates? How does a budget get broken down? Those are things that I can never get just being on Discord and working from home. On top of that, I did some cyanotype printing with my friend Casey and she's so awesome. And the last thing I dived into this camp was pewter casting with my friend Natasha. And I made this cool actual metal thing where I smelt, well, she smelted it. I used this Year of the Monkey necklace that I have, which helped me get a really cool looking shape on my pewter cast that uh, I could not do by hand. And while I didn't officially sign up for the star photography workshop, doing some time lapses was real fun to capture the memory of people learning light painting which is something i should probably dive into but that's just adding more more things to do so uh, i will respect it from a distance here's the thing when you are at an event like nab or seagraph or an industry event where you're trying to like hyper network with people it's always laced with this like i gotta work i gotta go make money go make content and while i do feed into the algorithm a little bit by making videos like this and capturing social media content to help create hype and help create buzz. Ultimately, I'm trying to create a positive emotion that builds happiness with this. But when it comes to camp, it's all about being a human being. And that's something I definitely need to work on. But camp as a whole does a wonderful job just helping people be human in an age where the algorithm is king. Obviously the point of camp is to disconnect, to reconnect, to get off of our phones. And everyone who comes to camp are people who make motion graphics, make animations, do things that are probably seen on here. But the issue is that when you're scrolling, you see a piece of content for three seconds if it's a still image or maybe 60 seconds if it's a video and then you never think about it again. I like making videos because it's practice. In addition to it being a memory for me, it allows me to really just get better at my craft. I sometimes have a severe ADHD brain, and the reason why I make all of these videos is because it's a good personal diary. It's a good thing for me to remember because my brain will forget in about 10 seconds about what we've done, and I can at least capture those moments and share them five years from now, 10 years from now, and that long-term mindset that I'm just like, five years from now, we're gonna love this and be very grateful that I made it. So that's my goal and that's my hope. And I should say I'm super grateful to all the camp counselors, Mark, Matt, Julie, Dave, 
all the camp staff who invite me here and allow me to point a camera at things and just have fun and practice my craft. I'm very grateful for all of those friends and those people. And I'm very grateful for camp because it allows me to reprioritize. I'll leave it there. If you appreciated this video, let me know. I know this is one was a long one, but my goal is to ideally share some knowledge things and help people go through mental health stuff because that's things that I struggle with and sometimes it's hard. Each protein, one gram of protein per pound of body weight makes it. Bye. Right now, because I need all of you to agree with what I'm about to say, what the next year's theme should be. Go for it. Ren Fair. Oh, 100% oh, yes. Ren Fair, yes. yes. 100%, yes. no question. Yes. Yes. Ren Fair. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we can have, we can have nights and like do like the whole like jousting. Ooh, Ren Fair, I like that. Okay. Or like Dungeons and Dragons. Exactly. Yeah, like, exactly. I, yeah, cosplay type. Hey, Mark, let's do this. <laughs>